Hello everybody and welcome back to the pre-release version of Civilization VI Gathering Storm. Welcome back to our nightmare scenario with enhanced climate disasters. Uh, we've already experienced one of them, which was a moderate flood over here. And it actually gave us a little bit of fertility in these two provinces. Um, it provinces. In these two tiles. I'm not entirely sure how long it's going to last, but we will find out in time. Uh, we are working on a holy site, as well as scouting out the initial area. We did find the Mali and the Inca last episode. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to continue on. Okay, let's move down south with you to find some fish and some sea turtles. Look at that. Very cool. Uh, this is a dead end, though, so not so cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, we want to meet Hungary right over here. Mátyás vagyok. Én vagyok Magyarországnak királya. Ellenségim ostora... Az igaz híveknek védelmezője. Üdvözöllek. All right, so we've met Matthias of Hungary. Welcome to, well, not welcome, but hi. <laughs> welcome to the uh, the Swedish kingdom, but uh, yeah, so great. It's an honor to meet you. We would like to sample your hospitality and see your capital, which is Buda. Right. You also are sitting on the Titsa River, looks like. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, you're sending me gifts worthy of a prince. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm not a prince. I'm a queen. But, uh, yeah, fine lace, a crossbow emblazoned with your heraldry and paprika... Paprikash? Pap... Paprikash made from my family's recipe. All right, sure. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go... Uh, this way. Uh, what's interesting about... Hungary. I, the thing is, I, I'm not really sure what goes into the design of the, uh, the the colors and cities of the game. Hungary. I don't know what this is. This is kind of like an abomination. I, I don't want to be too mean, but not only is the red way too bright, but the green is just too green. Like, it's it doesn't... To me, this doesn't look very well. Like, if they kind of dulled the tones... To make it look like this. This is kind of dulled. The uh, the blue. It's like a baby blue. If they had done that to the red and the green. Maybe it would have looked nicer. <laughs> but I don't know what, what they. Why they do this. Because even Australia has some problems. With their colors. It, there's just, I don't like the brightness. But whatever. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go west. And discover a new continent. That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. Which gives us, of course, uh, the inspiration towards foreign trade and actually unlocks it for us. Uh, which gives us a couple different things, including uh, joint wars and joint ongoing wars, as well as traders. Traders are very, very important. Uh, do we need any of these policies? No, I don't think we do. Right, no. Okay. We will. Uh, so the new continent is called Rodinia. Very interesting. And it's actually, we only saw one sliver of it. One mountain that has touched into our continent. Uh, it looks like we found another volcano. It is the Mount Marapi volcano in the Buk Mountains. So that's the mountain range. It, oh, this, God, this is so cool. I, <laughs> I love when things like, like in Civilization IV, land masses were named, right? So expansive plains were named, rivers, mountains. Um, so I'm actually very excited that they brought that back, because this, I love the randomness of stuff like this. Uh, it, it adds a lot of depth, and it, it's, it's awesome. Alright, so, I think we're gonna jump into Early Empire. Just so we can go ahead and grab our first governor. As well as establish our borders, yep. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, uh, we are at four population, we need to boost it to six to get the boost here. Ah, uh, well, that's very easy considering we have a lot of food, so we might as well just hold off. Grab the, uh, the craftsmanship. In fact, we could just jump back and forth to get these little boosts. Anyway. Alright, we have the Molly kind of scouting us out. We just grabbed that rice. Uh, we also have the ability to create trade routes, right. Uh, so the storm peters out. It looks like that hurricane is still off the coast. It was over here. It looks like it's moving north, which is actually kind of good for us. Uh, it is now a Category 4 hurricane, so it is decreasing in its speed, which is very, very nice. Hopefully that does not make landfall near us. 
if at all. Okay, so there's nothing else really up here, so we'll kind of scoot our way down this way around the volcano. And again, I don't think this volcano is active. Uh, we still have only one volatile... Oh. So, at a 2% chance, one volcano has already erupted. I need to find where this is. <laughs> I need to know. Uh, was uh, was there any damage reported with that? I can't actually see. Mmm. That is interesting. Uh, also, in here, you can actually see the events that have accumulated throughout the, uh, the entire game. Which is actually pretty nice. I like this a lot. So you can see where, you know, your humble beginnings and taking advantage of the floods for your fertility. And then later on, you'll actually see a lot more damage because you'll have built up that area. Okay. Anyway. So if we can find that volcano, that'd be actually pretty interesting. Let's keep... Oh. Okay. There's some marble down here, but that's the end of this. This is actually a nice little peninsula. So if we can settle on the river over here, maybe, and try to grab some of these resources, that'd be nice. Let's go here. Okay. Oh, we've met... Ah, Phoenicia. Anuk dido hamalkot uhaum lekart chadash makademe shum lekom bishum kinbane kanaan. All right, so we've met Dido of the Phoenicians. Now, some of you might remember Dido from Civilization V, in which she led Carthage. The name change is, I think, more historical. I'm not entirely sure of the history here. Um, she is the queen of Carthage, but I don't. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what what's going on here. I know they were the Phoenicians, and then they were Carthage, and I, I don't know. <laughs> Different time periods, I guess. ماذا فعلتم ليأخذ الله منكم تلك المكافأة؟ عودوا إلى طريق الصواب. All right, so what have you done that God has withdrawn his bounty from you? See that you return. All right, so he wants me to produce more faith. Uh, it does look like the game's graphics have been overhauled. I thought Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. All right, so we've discovered pottery, uh, which gave us the Great Bath, which is a new world wonder. Allows harvesting of wheat, granary, great. Yeah, things look different. So they must have overhauled the graphics, because this seems way darker over here. Um, even simple things like the grasslands look different. You know what I mean? Like, it just does not look like the same game, which I'm actually kind of happy about, because I thought the old version was kind of too bright. I like the duller tones, um, darker tones. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just seeing things that aren't there, but it does look different. Of course, they do have a time model as well, so it is scaling through night and day, so that could be it too. I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go uh, this way. Okay, that was <laughs> that was a mistake. Right, uh, keep going this way now. There's uh, some spices, also more coastline. Alright, accept these gifts of Murex Purple, Lebanon Cedar, and Olives. A mere taste of the wealth of Phoenicia. Yes, thank you very much. I do need to build another settler very, very soon. I'm thinking after the builder, we can purchase... Actually, I want to purchase a trader. Uh, we, we need another warrior, I think. This one's way too far gone. <laughs> if I wanted to bring him back, it would take me quite a long time. So let's not even bother with that. Okay, so it looks like Phoenicia's over there. Oh, I can shoot. Uh-oh. Whoa. Ah, damn it. Alright, well, either way, well, I guess let's move this way. Go up there, discover these two tiles, and go over this way. Let's keep moving down. Down and around, scouting around, exploring the world. A volcano becomes active. That's right, the Alarps BR volcano has now gone active. We stared at it too long, and it got angry. <laughs> we have pissed off the volcano gods. Wow. We're going to have to kind of keep an eye on this area. I mean, we'll get a notification now that we see this area, if it does erupt. We're not going to be able to see the graphics, I don't think, because we need to have sight over here, but... Um, you know, it might also be worth just building a unit just to send it down here, just to sit. We are going to need to build another warrior anyway. 
So we might as well queue that up. <laughs> so what's the chance now? 5% chance. Wait, what is... We have two active, one volatile. What does that even mean? I know volatile, obviously it means like it, it could go off any time now, but there's still a 5% chance. So what's the difference between volatile and active? I don't know, but I guess we'll find out if we ever see that volatile volcano. Maybe it's like a volcano that always constantly erupts kind of thing. More of a chance to, to fire. What is that river? <laughs> Had a very big name. What is this? This is the Apuramak Mayu River. Okie dokie. Right, so we have our trader. Let's go ahead and trade with Niani, which is the capital of the Mali, which will give us three golds. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting. So we have a Eureka now towards currency, which is good. But we actually, our route here crosses path with the volcano zone. So if the volcano erupted and we were over here with our trader, I'm pretty sure it would be pillaged. Ah, oh, it's so cool. That's so cool. The Waywash Walla Mountains. <laughs> what the hell? Alrighty. State workforce has been um, inspired because we have... Oh, a builder. No. Oh, because we have the uh, our first district. Right. And a violent storm, a tornado outbreak named Ingvar has developed and is headed towards the northwest. The storm will cause destruction over the next two turns. With its arrival, there will be, uh, zero, okay. Okay, so it's heading to the northwest, which is out this way. I don't think, yeah, that's not going to cause any damage whatsoever, but there's two of them. Tornado outbreak. Maybe what it's doing, maybe there's three. Maybe it's just, like, it's over here. It's not actually three tornadoes. I don't know. That's interesting, though. I mean, it doesn't affect us in the least. But uh, that could have if we were in that uh, that little alleyway. All right, let's go this way. And you know what? You can just auto-explore. I'm done manually doing it. I don't think there's any ruins to be found over here. Uh, you can keep coming down south. There's like nothing out here that's interesting. There's no natural wonders. Which is kind of depressing. <laughs> Without craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Okay, so we're going to go into change policies. I don't know... Well, we have our district for Holy Sites, so we can actually get rid of the uh, God King. So now we can go into probably 30% production towards builders, which will speed up our current build of our builder. Storm Rage is on. Yep, the tornado. Oh my god. How did that get from here to here? Oh my. <laughs> Run the hell away. Holy crap. I was not expecting that. <laughs> that's that's a crazy amount of distance for, for that tornado to move. Uh, I don't like that, but uh, okay. We will work on our next Civic, which will probably be State Workforce now. We will also move over here, which is looks like it's going to be a dead end. The Atlas Mountains! Very nice. Writing means sharing. It's part of the human condition to want to share things. Thoughts, ideas, opinions. All right, so as you just saw up there, we saw the tornado actually move over here very, very interestingly. Um, so they do move quite a distance. That could have actually affected us had it been going south. Wow. Luckily, nobody's in the way of this, so there's no natural disaster um, happening necessarily. But uh, yeah, that, that could have been very devastating. All right, so we have writing, which gives us the library and the campus district which we will try to build as soon as possible. Get our science uh, perfect. We will go down here. That's a dead end. I, I knew that. I shouldn't have gone down there. Let's go over here. Oh, the Lowell River again. This Lowell River is actually very big. 
How is it up here, though? Oh, I guess it goes up like that. Hmm. This isn't the... No, this is the Zagiva River. And that's just going... Oh, I see. Okay. Alright, let's go there. I need a natural wonder. Your trader overheard that Molly is worshipping a pantheon focused on the Lady of the Reeds for marshlands. I only see three over here, so that's not really the best. There's four. Okay, there's a couple, but good luck with that. Let's go south. Alright, we're going to get our builder next turn, which is very, very good. Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? And we discovered mining, which gives us the ability to mine and quarry, as well as chopping copper up, which I don't know why you would do that instead of just using the resource. Anyway, uh, let's work on... We could pop into the next era in 16 turns, though. That's not really worth it. Let's work on animal husbandry, see if we can find any horses. I think that's worthwhile. We can find a pantheon, which is very, very nice. So, obviously our benefit would be to... Well... If there's anything for floodplains, which I doubt there are, but let's just see. So there is a river goddess, but that's only if we have a holy site adjacent to the river. Which, it's not going to matter for our first one, but we could definitely still do this and make it work. 25% production towards districts in cities without a specialty district. Oh, no, that's not... Hmm. We don't really have any, like, resources either. We've got silk, but that's it, really. There's copper... It's a bonus resource, it's not strategic, so that's not going to really matter. Ah, uh, well, I think I'm going to have to choose a generic kind of pantheon down here at the bottom. So we can either choose fertility rights, city growth rate is 10% higher, which would just get out of control, I think. Or choose religious settlements, which is border expansion at 15% of a higher rate, which I think is much, much better. We will do this, found the pantheon. And gives us an inspiration towards mysticism. A gentle volcanic eruption. The Alars BR volcano has erupted. Thankfully, damage appears to be light, and nothing was affected. Luckily, our trader is nowhere near that right now. But, oh, that is cool looking. If we can only see the freaking graphics. Once our trader gets, like, right over here, we'll be able to see it. But that's depressing. <laughs> that's right, we have another era points. Uh, ugh. We're only at 8. We need at least 11 to get out of the Dark Age. Or 12, rather. Which, uh, hopefully we get. Okay. Um, I'm thinking we work on the rice. And the quarry. So we'll do the rice. I mean, the quarry first, and then up across the river to the rice. Alright, and that also gives us a Eureka towards masonry, which is nice. And let's go I just want to discover this. Yeah, there's nothing there. Let's go this way. Where are the natural wonders? This is not good. They're, I mean, if they're not in this radius, they're not anywhere near uh, settling radius. A strong economy begins with a strong, well-educated workforce. Because if it's too far away from our capital, we're going to lose loyalty. And loyalty is a big thing ever since Rise and Fall, obviously, when it was added. Um, right, so we have State Workforce now, which gives us two new policies. One towards Classical and Ancient Wonders, uh, and one for Unit Maintenance. Also, the Government Plaza. Uh, I don't think we're going to be working on any Wonders. Every time I try to go for an early Wonder, I fail. Miserably. So I'm just, I'm just not going to uh, attempt um, Stonehenge or anything like that. Let's grab... Uh, could grab Early Empire. We're at uh, ten turns. That would take nine. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's grab Military Tradition. Nah, screw it. Let's grab Mysticism and then Military Tradition. Alright. Appoint a Governor. We don't have any city-states actually found. So we can't actually grab our diplomat, which I usually always go for. So I guess we'll go for Pingala. Pingala actually gives bonuses towards science and culture in a certain city. 
And early on, that's actually kind of nice. So let's go ahead and put you in Stockholm. Let's go north to discover some chocolate. And go across the river. Now, after this warrior, I definitely want to work on a uh, settler because we're, <laughs> we need one. We absolutely do. Uh, let's... Yep, settler. Uh, oh, I did the wrong thing again. Warrior. Move that. Oh, how do you move things? I thought there was a way to do that. Okay, we'll do that. Then we can work on a shrine. You know what? In fact... Uh, yeah, this should be alright. I'm trying to think of, like, the population and stuff. I want to get the boost towards early empire, but I don't want to take away the population before... Yeah, so I gotta... I gotta watch that. It looks like Phoenicia... Ah, oh, Phoenicia has Kilauea, which is, I believe, a Hawaiian volcano. Um, but it looks like it's active. And it's it's already blown its top. Oh! <laughs> volcanic soil. Now, the good thing about settling near volcanoes, though, is that volcanic soil is incredibly valuable. So she will have that. But again, considering disasters are at an all-time high in this specific game... It's not probably the best idea to settle right next to a volcano like this. Is this the active one or volatile one? I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. 13% chance for volcanic activity. This is just insane. Okay. What else? Uh, yep, you're going to build the farm. Hey, the adaptive people of Sweden built after a natural disaster, taking advantage of the renewed land. Perfect. That's actually kind of nice. Uh, also, uh, an inspiration towards uh, irrigation. All right, so how much food is this giving us? Should be five or six? Five. Ah, I'll take it. I will take it. First improvement after a natural disaster. Huh. Now, the only problem with, again developing this land is that it does have the possibility of um, being destroyed or being in need of repair because of the flood, you know, floodplains here. Uh, there is a storm raging on out here. It's a Category 5 hurricane named Victor, and it's moving to the, uh, it's moving to the west. I can see it. Oh, no. <laughs> We're we might actually have our first major storm system move into our land. And uh, it looks like Hungary is settling to the south there. Uh, that tornado actually looks like it petered out somewhere over here. I don't know if it affected Cusco at all. But, um... What is this? Oh, a terrace farm. Right, yeah, cool. Very cool. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to deal with this, <laughs> this Category 5 hurricane. Let's move over this way. And this way. <gasps> What's that? If delicate arch has any significance, it lies, I will venture, in the power of the odd and unexpected to startle the senses and surprise the mind out of their ruts of habit. All right, so we've discovered the delicate arch. Now, I'm not entirely sure which natural wonders are new to uh, Gathering Storm, but I don't know if I've seen this one before. So this might be new, which is actually pretty cool. So the delicate arch... Which looks like it should be spawned in a desert. Uh, doesn't seem to... I mean, it's a desert tile, but it doesn't seem to be in a major desert. Uh, right, so a one-tile impassable natural wonder provides two faith and one gold to adjacent tiles. That is actually incredibly strong. Wow. That is tempting. But I, I think it's out of our, our loyalty range. Which is depressing. We'll have to see uh, when we get our settler. All right. Go over there and grab the other farm. Very nice. Oh, that was plus three to our error score, actually. So now we are in a normal age. I doubt we're going to get up to a, a golden age, but we are definitely safe for now. So we have to take a good look at this hurricane. I am fond of pigs. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs... Treat us as equals. Oh god, it's moving. It's moving in. 
So we discovered animal husbandry, which gives us the ability to build pastures and camps, as well as discovers horses, which I see some over here, um, and harvesting. Oh. Okay, so it was over here, but it's disappeared. It's no longer... Well, it is a Category 5. It says it petered out. Oh, that was its final move. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it gave six tiles fertility. What tiles did it affect? Maybe this one? I don't know. There's got to be a... It, there is a... Is there no lens for this? Huh. So, luckily, we didn't have any problems with that hurricane, but it was very, very close to making landfall in our capital. Uh, let's grab probably irrigation, because we do have that uh, silk. Right, let's keep going north. And let's go this way. Uh, there is a little bit... Wow, really? You call that a desert? <laughs> doesn't even have a name. That's how small it is. That is an interesting location for something like that to have formed, uh, considering the wind required to actually cause rock to be eroded this way. It wouldn't happen in this little area. I mean, it might. I don't know. This is this is weird. We have all this, this wind-breaking uh, forest right here, so it, it would... Actually, it, it is kind of lined up, so the wind that's carried this way is kind of funneled in here, so it would have... I don't know. I mean, that's... I don't know much about geology, but that... <laughs> that would be a very interesting kind of pathway for wind. Anyway. Uh, the warrior will sit here until we get our uh, settler. So, yep. Just sit there. Now, we do, of course, have our trader in range of this volcano. It could strike at any time. It looks like... What is this? Has this been affected? It looks like it... Uh, no, it doesn't look like it has. I'm not sure what that uh, that gentle eruption did, but... Didn't really affect the tiles around here. And it looks like... Mansa Musa has enforced borders. Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. Right, so uh, he's enforced his borders, which means that he has early empire. That's all that means. Uh, mysticism, which gives us the Oracle World Wonder and two policies that we can't use yet. Okay, oh, I see what this is. So technically, if I had a unit that was inside of his borders, it would have been displaced. But considering it's a... Oh, wait, what the hell? You actually moved my traitor. What? <laughs> How the hell did... That's not supposed to happen. A traitor is a unit that can go through borders. <laughs> Alright, well, this is a very interesting road network then. All of a sudden, we just appeared on top of this hill. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? Uh, let's move you up here. Let's move you uh, down here. Okay, and that is going to be it for this episode. So, uh, we've discovered a little bit more of the land. Uh, we are going to get our next settler out next episode, which is very nice. And hopefully, we can see this eruption happen over here before our trader actually leaves the radius. So, either way, thank you all for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more. <laughs>